What is going on guys, this is DJ Clan Smasher, and today I'm bringing you a super awesome episode, it's White Tempo versus Tamil Quantums. So this war was a determinant um, to see who's going to be at the top for the most part, because we right now we're currently 1 and 2, They're, they were number 1, um, we were number 2 because uh, one of the wars against Spell Mafia didn't count anymore since they did drop off unfortunately, so they removed the win from us, but um, anyways guys, uh, the score was 10 v 11, uh, 60%, we got 10 v 10s, we got at least 3 of them, our 9 v 9s did an awesome job, so I'm just going to go ahead and put some background attacks, this is going to be by triple seven. this is going to be a 9 v 9 guys, Sui Lalo pretty much for the most part, so anyways, um, as that's going on, so for versus Tamil Quantums, guys, we were the two undefeated clans. So everybody was looking forward for this match. Very exciting match. Um, we did a lot of uh, testing. We, we tested all our bases to make sure that they would stand against um, different kinds of attacks. So it was an awesome war, guys. We definitely prepared hard for it. Um, and it did show and it reflected on our actual um, attacks. So anyways, guys, we uh, like I said, 9v9s, I think it was 78% that we ended up getting. So we did an awesome job there, which enabled us to get a lot of scouts. We got three 10v10s by our one and only bad boy. So he pretty much killed it this war, guys. And our 10v11s were just awesome. We cleared all the 11s within five hits, guys. Two of them, which were fresh. And then um, the other one... Uh, we had a hard time with, um, so you landed in Hobgoblin, our main, our main 10v11 crew. So when they couldn't clear number two, I figured that I was going to be the one to clear it. So I did clear number two after that with a with a gobo attack. But anyways, guys, it was a pretty awesome war for the most part. Um, let's go ahead and get started with the 10v10s. So nice job by 777 on that Sui La Lo, guys. So for this one, Bad Boy is going to be starting at a, starting us off here. Um, sends in a few loons to get rid of that uh, that Tesla. And then after that, it's going to make it a lot easier for the Queen Walk to happen. So a few, my, a few minions were placed up top with the Elixir Collector just to get rid of it and making sure that the Queen walks the right direction. Um, he is going to get rid of this Town Hall, which is nice because, you know, in case you happen not to get the 3 star, at least you're securing the solid 2 star. So a high percentage 2 star. So anyways, bad boy, uh, bad boy um, takes care of that air defense, and then the queen starts moving down, places a real awesome minion up top, which takes care of this cannon, which is very nice. As you can see, places a nice rage spell. The king is moving forward, getting rid of some of those structures. The queen is able to take care of this lava ham with not too many things hitting her, so that's always nice. Places a few minions to get rid of the lava pups. Real nice rage spell to get through. A bunch of hair traps come out, guys. So that's nice that the queen was able to take care of that portion instead of the lalo portion. So anyways, the enemy queen goes down. And then after that, sends in a bunch of wall breakers. Aren't really going to do too much here. Um, but they did break that wall piece, which makes it a lot easier for the queen to walk through. So then after that so starts, the lalo portion, guys. Real nice hay spells placed um, to get through this base. The queen was still standing, but was taken down by the enemy king. Then after that, the last haste spell is placed and is able to take care of the rest of the base, guys. There was Massacre at this point, a bunch of loons left, and the minions cleaned up so fast that the loons didn't have to go to too many places. So let's go ahead and move on to the next hit, guys. So this hit is actually going to be by Bad Boy again. So he did get a six-pack this war, guys. And then um, with the other count that he, that he does with Karma, he also got a three-star in that war. It was very close to a six-pack, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. But anyways, guys, and I almost got a 3-star as well. I did a Bow Witch attack. I got 95%. After that, some people were trying to du duplicate it, but I still ended up getting the higher percentage. So didn't get the 3-star, but was definitely super close. Um, but anyways, guys, so as you can see, Bad Boy uh, pretty much doing the exact same attack. So is going to be moving in, sends in the king. The Sui king um, is able to get rid of some of these structures, making it a lot easier for the funnel to occur. Um, the queen is working her way through with that lava hound, guys. And as you can see, sends in a wizard to kind of help with the cleanup. Uh, not cleanup, but more of getting rid of the lava hound faster so that there's no issues with time. So the, now that the queen takes care of the enemy queen, moves in, takes care of the air defenses, guys. So as you can see, moves to that air defense, moves to the next one. Once that sweeper goes down, 
uh, bad boy starts the lalo portion. So as you can see in this case, it's going to be counterclockwise starting from 6 o'clock, moving up to 3, and then after that to 12. So as you can see, very, very um, patient when it comes to the hay spells, guys. And then after that places the last hay spell, gets through the final portion of the base. The queen is still standing, and there are so many loons left, guys. So this is an overkill. Great job by bad boy getting the solid 9-pack pretty much for this war. Let's check out his final attack, guys, for this one. And um, I've been very busy this month, guys. I'll be posting a lot more content soon. I'm just right now focusing on the recaps because I want to make sure that we don't miss out on that one because of all the hard work that Elite Gaming and White Temple put in um, for, for their wars. So I just want to make sure that I do get a chance to capture the recaps. That's my main objective for now while I'm busy. But then after that, I'll start posting more how-tos and all that good stuff. So anyways, guys... As you can see, Karma, or aka Bad Boy, starts the attack at 12 o'clock, gets rid of a few things. Um, the king hasn't placed the king yet, the king is still alive. So nice rage spell to get through this Lava Hound. Another wizard just to kind of help out. A few minions to be able to snipe these uh, back end Lava Pups, you know how that goes. So anyways, now the king is finally placed, making sure that the, um, that the funnel is created, guys. So then once the funnel is created, sends in a few more wall breakers to break right through. The queen does break in, which means that she's going to be able to deal with the enemy queen. The queen goes down, the sweeper goes down, and after that, it is good to go for the air portion. So as you can see, guys, the air portion is started. The queen is taking her time breaking in through the wall, which is good because I kind of kept her alive for the most part. because she, Or else she would have had to deal with that single inferno. So it's nice that the lava, um, that the loons were able to make it there in time without having to deal, without the queen having to deal with the single inferno. So one expo left, guys, and uh, that's pretty much wrapping that portion up. I'll be showing you two 10v11s, guys, because those were fresh hits, and I definitely want to give them props. That 10v11 crew has been killing it lately, um, especially with this war that was very important. So we pretty much planned, you know, voiced a little bit, sketched a few things to be able to get these uh, 10v11s taken care of. So very proud of the team and they wore on a fresh hit. So the, um, the reason why it says four hits for number two was because there was an 11v11 attempt. Unfortunately, it didn't go as well. So that's why there was four hits on that one. But in reality, we got it taken care of within three hits. Um, so anyways, Hobgoblin was trying to get some percentage down there with the army camps. Uh, for some reason... And the archer towers were still reaching the archers, so they didn't really get anything down there with the archers. So finally started this attack, guys. Sends in a few wall breakers to get in. The wall breakers do break in. The queen, the queen is able to take care of the cannon, the other cannon, and then after that takes care of the CC. So sends in a rage spell to make sure that the CC does get taken care of. And then once the CZ is taken care of, the Rage Spell is allowing the Queen to move in a little bit faster. And then it's going to have to use the third Rage Spell here in a bit for the Queen, um, if I'm not mistaken. Actually, no, that might not be the case. So it still has the Queen ability, guys. Keep that in mind. So once the Queen starts working her way through... So as you can see, guys, this is a whole three minutes, guys. This attack... The Queen Walk itself took a long time, and he didn't realize the time because he was just looking at the Queen. So send in the golem and the boulders here, guys, and still didn't know about the time at this point. <laughs> so then, um, as the king is moving on, um, he didn't realize that the queen was going to be able to snipe the town hall there. So that was very lucky there. Um, or else, well, actually, the Valks would have still had enough time to be able to snipe the town hall. But then he realized that he was running out of time. So he sent in the Valkyries, just rushing them right through. He's freaking out at this point. But managed to get a super solid two-star, guys. It would have probably been more percentage, but he did run out of time. Because that queen walk did take a long time to um, to get all those uh, structures taken care of. So now, guys, this is going to be by Yulandin. So Yulandin is going to get an awesome 10v11 hit, guys. Sends in a few loons with the hog just in case it was a lava hound. We didn't know what it was since it was a fresh hit. So the hog rider was just there as a safety mechanism, making sure that we do, did get the CC taken care of. So now pulls the CC, guys, to the corner, sends in the queen. Um, the queen almost died, so he did have to use a queen ability, unfortunately. So I was hoping that he'd be able to save it just in case the queen had to snipe the town hall. But they'd have to use a queen ability. Better to use it than to lose it. So anyways, guys, the queen starts walking through. And has some good, uh, has a great walking distance here, guys. So the expo is shooting her down. 
the cannon is too far away to even touch her, so it's not too much of an issue. So right here starts getting a little sketch, has to use a rage spell, and then check it out guys, wall breakers go through, they did not fully break the wall, so a bunch of wall breaker fails there. So we were getting a little worried because we didn't think it was going to happen, but luckily guys, the queen is able to still keep standing, sends in a uh, the rage... I mean, the queen had to use a, the rage spell to keep the queen alive because at first we we're going to use a rage spell up top with the king and a few Valkyries. Sends in the rest of the Valkyries, guys, and check it out. The rage Valkyries are going to go in there, take care of the town hall themselves, take care of the enemy queen, and the queen is still standing, getting a few more percentage points, and does take care of that. So anyways, guys, that was the White Temple versus Tamil Quantums. It was a great game that puts us up top. So hopefully everything goes well and we'll be facing hashtag 2 for this next week. So anyways guys, I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to keep calm and clash on. And that's pretty much the stats. I didn't do so well on my 9v9. But it's all good. A lot of people were having a hard time with that one. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to keep calm and clash on guys.